Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Please excuse the glare. I got some new lights and it's just working on it. So, as you might know, I am currently in a Hobonichi Cousin. And now I have this. This is an A5 Rings Filofax Original in Rose patent in rose yeah I'm not moving into rings don't worry I'm sticking with my Hobonichi cousin but I'm putting it in here I'm not sure if this is gonna work and I thought I would take you along with me to try it out so I haven't done anything to it yet but I'm gonna take out all the inserts because I don't need those at all. We'll take them away. I don't have any room to put them anywhere. There we go. Okay, what I plan on doing is sliding this portion of the back cover into here, which means I can fit other things. Like, I can actually fit this in with the rings still on it. But that's not what I want to do. I want, I want to take out the rings and I want to thread elastic through so I can add inserts here if I want. And then I might even slide in here my day free journal. Next year I intend on getting the Cousin of Vec and so I might, it's going to be skinnier and I don't know, I wanted it, I wanted to try it. I really love this Filofax, I love the colour. I wanted one and do you know what? It's lockdown, yo. It makes me do weird things. So, I have watched some videos on how, how to take out rings. I've watched them on how to take them out delicately to save the rings. I don't care about saving the rings. I've, I just want to get them out. So, they are attached through these right the way through. You can see, because I can actually put my hand through. They literally are attached through here. So I just want to get that off. The ones I've watched involved drilling into here, which I really don't want to do because, uh, no, tiny little bits of metal, not a fan. Um, so I've got these, which are these weird pliers that my dad gave me, which have got all the extra crazy bits attached. Um, I don't know if I should try popping that off, if that would help. I don't even know what all these things do. Or if I should just plat, like I don't care about saving the rings. If I was trying to save the rings, it would matter. But I don't really care. <laughs> Good job, eh? Okay. I feel like this should be easy. Like, there should be... Oh, hello. I know that in some planners, you just have to undo a bit and then it slides, but... I don't know. Let's try taking that off. I don't know how to get that off. Let's see what random... Knife? Knife? Would that work? Pfft. I feel like I should move my hand, because... There's no going to the hospital right now. <laughs> I mean, there is. You're allowed to go to the hospital if you hurt yourself. But I really don't want to have to go to the hospital and be like, yeah, I was trying to remove the rings from my Filofax. That's how I um gouged my hand open. Okay. It's a bit looser. Let's try just prying it off. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, now if I just squidge all these, will that come off? I think, would it just come through? There's probably a little tiny Oh my god, it worked. Okay, it worked. 
Oh, that was way easier than I expected. Okay. Zoom in. Okay. That was like way easier than I expected. And then just... I don't want to leave a big, huge gap. Like I don't want to make a big, big hole. Really. I also don't want to get, see there's already tiny little bits of metal. I hate metal. Oh, okay, we're gonna have to just pull it through, I think. It's gonna leave a hole. Guys, there we go. Oh my God, I actually did it. I only did a tiny little scrape of the leather, which is fine. Okay, let's try doing the other end. Definitely gonna be throwing away that bit. Okay, so we took this off. I'm not sure if that actually made any difference. No, it didn't really, did it? Okay, so I'm gonna take the cover off. Now, I'm not telling you to do it this way. This may not be the best way. I might not have done it the right way. But this is just the way I'm doing it. It might not be perfect. In fact, it's not perfect. We all know it's not perfect. Um, but yeah, here's just one way of doing it. <laughs> so, peel off the top cap. It leaves that. Can you see that sort of the end of it here is weirdly like splayed out almost but it's really soft metal so I'm just going to squish it into place just to try and flatten it around a little bit and then pull And that's the rings off. I mean, I didn't need to bend that quite so much as I did over here. Here. But that's okay. Like, I don't need them. Then I'm just gonna squidge this a little bit more. To try and make it a little bit flatter. And then I'm just gonna grab this and I'm going to pull it very gently. Pop it right out. Okay. Okay. So what I'm left with is all this. The damaged rings, which I didn't need to damage quite as much as I did, but never mind. The two like grommety brad type things and the two covers that went over the top of this bit. So I'm just gonna throw all those in the bit. Okay, so I've got a bunch of elastic. I've got this beige, hot pink and gray. I think the hot pink is too bright to go with the pale pink of the planner. I think I'm gonna use the gray. You could use any colour and honestly it won't make much difference because it's all going to be on the inside but I think I'm going to use the grey. Partly because it's already opened. Now, I think it might, mm, might be a bit tough. Yeah, there we go. It does fit through. You could just thread it right through and have a bit in the front and a bit in the back but I don't want that. That would be too short and it would look messy. So... Traveler's notebooks normally have like two holes. All the ones I've got, I've got two holes side by side, but that's not gonna work because I wanna use the holes that are already there. You could just cover them up with brads because I'm gonna be tucking a notebook in anyway, so it wouldn't make a huge difference. But I would like to make it a proper traveler's notebook. So I've got this, which is from a jewelry making set. I'm not entirely sure if it's going to work. I've never used it to punch through leather. So I am gonna mark roughly halfway between the top and the bottom. 
It's not going to be perfect. I'm eyeballing it. You could measure if you wanted it to be perfect, but I'm not that bothered. And then I'm literally going to stick this in and hammer it. So I'm just going to zoom you out a little bit because you're quite close. Okay, ready? Oh my god. I don't want to go into my actual desk. Okay. <laughs> then I'm just trying to work it through to give it, make it wider. Because the hole's got to be big enough to fit the elastic in. If you, I mean, if you don't have one of these, you can just use a screw. Or an... Oh, I just got it stuck, look. Okay, you could let us... Blah. You could use like a screw or a nail. That actually might work better than what I've just done. But you know what? Hmm. Okay, I need to think of a better way of making this hole. I think I'm going to go and try doing it with a screw. Like an actual screw. Okay, while punching the hole, um, using a drill, which, uh, yeah, I now have a plaster on my finger, not from the drill, I got a paper cut, because while I was drilling in, I'm making a big old mess, which you can see, and not even making the hole that much bigger, I remembered I had a crop -a dial So this is the We Are Memory Keepers crop -a dial I've barely used it. This is from when I owned a craft shop and when I closed down the craft shop, all the stock that was left, I pretty much helped myself to whatever I wanted. This is one of those things. So I had a selection of different eyelets. You can see all the different colors. I've picked silver, but I'm debating going for this sort of matte silver instead. There is shiny silver on the planner, but I feel like matte might be a bit nicer. So, I'm going to go with the matte silver instead of shiny silver. If I hate it, I can always change it later. What a mess I'm making on my desk, by the way. Right, so, the good thing about this is it also has a punch. So, I'm going to try and redo the holes. which is not easy to see where I am going with this, but I'm going to try and redo my holes. There, that's a bit better. It's still not perfect, but that's okay. So, I'll re -punch the holes. Okay, now we're going to try putting those lovely brads in. Eyelets. Eyelets. Sorry. Eyelets. Ooh, yes. That has worked. Okay, it's worked. And we'll do the opposite end first. And then I'm gonna try and do those ones. I'm not sure how well that's gonna go. Um, I don't know if the hole is as big as it needs to be, in which case I might need to punch out a little bit. I think I might need to punch a little bit which not too keen on to be honest I can't because the punch doesn't go that far okay I might at some point get an eyelet thing and in which case I will do those but for now I'm not so we're not gonna faff about with it I'm just gonna because my elastic will go through the hole I was just being fancy 
with my eyelets. <laughs> so I'll put it through the bottom one and then through the top one and then at the bottom put it through the bottom one and in through the top and that's too much but I'm gonna cut it there and then don't tie it as tight as you think you need it do a little bit a little bit looser but not too loose because you don't want your books to fall out and then tie it in a knot and that's it trim trim your knot which you can change the elastics at any time then possibly made that ever so slightly too tight but it will loosen off when there are books in there so now I've got two elastics which I can put books in this one might be a bit of a struggle to fit a book in but I don't actually have any A5 notebooks that will fit it yet leave that with me I will find some <laughs> because the plan I mean theoretically you could put this through the elastic to hold it in that way and you can't see because I have to zoom yet yeah to hold it in that way and then that would work it would fit but I feel like it's really baggy and the whole point is I want it to be baggy so that I can fit lots more in because I like to decorate planners and I like to fit loads of stuff in and that's what I think was missing in the cover that I had on this so instead we'll just slot this in here carefully try not to bend it too much I actually am thinking about making a jelly cover as well for this Hobonichi so that will make it fit a little neater in here a little tighter I want it to fit without being too tight if that makes sense because it it leaves because the rings were in there it leaves you loads of room so you can see I've got loads of space so as I said my other plan which is a possibility a possibility and a very high likelihood of doing this next year is to put the day free in here it's not working because it's not the pockets are really tight and it's there we go so put the day free in so you essentially have one notebook here and one over here and then it still closes absolutely no bother and there's still loads of space so you could bulk them both out you could have just a notebook so you could use this as just a notebook in the front so you'd have your notes here you could tuck this one in the front the bulkier one but then I've got my actual planner over this side or you could put a different notebook in here and then you could have a notebook in the middle as well with the string there are endless possibilities and I'm gonna have fun playing with it also I'm definitely gonna make a jelly cover and you know what looking at this I'm thinking I'm gonna have to get the abec this year because this strain on the spine is already quite real just from the few months that I've used it like I've used it for that's two months worth of journaling and worth of weekly stickering I'm not sure the spine would be able to handle another what eight months hmm yes I may end up using this for June 
and then going for the Avec, getting the Avec ready and using that. But we will have a think about it, I will decide. <laughs> but that is it. Thank you for coming along with me on this quite scary DIY. I won't lie. I was a bit nervous after having paid for the planner that I was going to destroy it. But I didn't. And it looks ace. And I think it's going to be exactly what I wanted. I wanted the planner. I wanted the ring. And you know what? That doesn't look too bad. Because it doesn't need, like it doesn't have the, it's not as exposed. It doesn't look too bad. I do. I really like it. And I think I'm really going to like having my Hobonichi in Filofax. And I think maybe I'll stop sticking stickers in now because if I change to a to an Avec in a couple of months, I don't want to have used all my stickers. I'm going to use up all my stickers. And then I might use this paper for something else. Like I could actually... I could use this for something else, or I could take these pages out, use the paper just for something else. Yeah, there's a definite probability that I'm going to go to an EVEC. I'm going to go and research that now. So, um, thank you for joining me on my very waffly, very scary DIY, and watching me use actual real life tools. Uh, if anyone has any questions, please ask them down below. Uh, or you can find me on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram name just here. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.